Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15. Happy New Year to you all, happy 2018 to you and hopefully we can have a good year this year. I just want to make a quick apology for not making any videos uh, over the Christmas period. I did do a few selections on Twitter which you should definitely follow me at, at Lucky Loaders 15, same name as our YouTube channel. If, if I'm not vlogging for any reason on there that's the place to go and check out why and also as well you might find a few other tips that I give on there. I gave a few tips over Christmas and actually all the ones I did give ran pretty well. We had Topville uh, Ben, which uh, won pretty nice for us at Haydock uh, the other day at eight to one, and we also uh, put up a horse called Midnight Tune, which I know from my uh, Win Canton experience that one at Kempton on the day at five to two. So we had a few good uh, selections uh, there. If you're brand new to the channel, basically my name's Chris, and I created this YouTube channel back in uh, March, and. But really things have gone unbelievably for me. The main purpose I did really to create this channel was to gain some experience really to help me follow my dream which is to become a horse racing journalist. I do a master's degree in sports broadcast journalism at Southampton Stone University. I'm about to start a work placement with At The Races in two weeks time which I can't wait. I'll be there for three months so Hopefully I can really get some valuable experiences there. I also as well do the social media for Wincant and Racecourse on their Facebook, on Twitter, on race days. So if you check out their uh, social media on the race days, that's all me getting all that content for uh, you guys to read and have a watch. So um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about myself really. Thanks for all your amazing support so far. And please subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. I just want to give you an update on how these vlogs are going to go. I'm going to just break it up slightly a little bit. We're still going to do the kind of the four selections which you could make into an each way lucky 15. But I'm going to give you four different categories. I'm going to do a nap, a next best. I'm going to do a long shot and I'm going to do something that I haven't really been doing on the vlogs. It's called an unknown. So it might be a horse that's making its uh, race course debut. It might be um, racing under rules for the first time, racing in a bumper. It might be going chasing for the first time, hurdling for the first time. Something a bit unknown about the horse. And I'll give you a selection in each vlog for that kind of category. So uh, check out for that selection, which uh, we'll be getting into in a minute. Anyway. We're going to be getting stuck into tomorrow's action, which is going to be focusing at Air and Newcastle. Air hopefully will pass an inspection tomorrow morning. The ground is considered heavy there, but hopefully they can pass the inspection. And Newcastle, of course, is on the all-weather, so barring any dramatic freak weather, they should definitely race tomorrow. There was meant to be racing at Foss last tomorrow, but it got called off this morning after a waterlogged uh, race course inspection. So um, that's where the racing's at tomorrow. And our first selection tomorrow is going to be at Air in the 240. And we're going with a horse here called uh, One for Harry. It's currently around 3-1 to one with bookmakers at the moment, trained by Nicky Richards, whose stable's been in very good form over the last uh, few weeks. He uses the services of condition jockey Ryan Day taking three pounds off tomorrow. Now the last time we saw this horse was at Haydock a little while ago where it won in very good style that day beating a horse called Tor Thief of Donald McCain who since followed up and won at Banger last time it ran for that horse and before that it had been running very good races so that was definitely a good strong piece of form. Also as well before that it ran in a race at Carlisle where it finished in fifth place behind the likes of Topville Ben and also the winner of that race at Carlisle has gone on and uh, won since. So that uh, fifth place is pretty good piece of form really considering it didn't win or place but it was definitely a good strong race where some good form has come out of it. So it has been running really well and I thought the conditions tomorrow with the ground being classified as heavy should definitely play to this horse's strengths. It seems the more testing ground the better this horse uh, runs and I thought I had a very good chance tomorrow for mark of 138 and I thought it was definitely the one to beat in this race tomorrow and I thought 3-1 to one was quite good value. So uh, that's going to be the opening selection tomorrow and the nap as well. We then go to our second selection, which is at the first race at Newcastle in the 3.35. Uh, and we're going with a horse here called Dabawi 50, currently 7-2 to two with bookmakers at the moment. Uh, trained by Karen McClintock and Paul Moran takes the ride tomorrow. Now this horse is owned by Paul and Claire Rooney, who are very good upcoming owners. Definitely ones to note when horses are racing in these colours. And I thought it had quite a good chance tomorrow. Like I said, it's currently around 7-2 bookmakers at the moment. Had a very good uh, season last year. 
finished fourth in the Cesarevich, which actually isn't a bad piece of form. And also as well, it is a previous course winner at this uh, track, and I thought it could definitely go well tomorrow. Now this horse is by Dubawi, who's a very good sire to be related to, and Paul Morenon as well has a very good record around Newcastle. So I thought really tomorrow this horse had a very good chance in this race. I thought a mark of 90 was still not a bad mark for this horse, and I could see it definitely running a good race tomorrow. So that's going to be the next best Dubawi 50 in the 335 at Newcastle. We then go back to where for our our unknown selection with a horse called You Know, You Know, You Know, You Know. Currently 7-1 with bookmakers at the moment, trained by Ian Jardine, who's kind of a mixture between a flat trainer and he has a few jump horses at his disposal who mainly run over hurdles. I thought this one was a very interesting recruit uh, for its stable. It's trained again by the likes of Paul, oh no, it's, sorry, it's owned by the likes of Paul and Claire Rooney, racing their colours tomorrow. Also as well, Henry Brook takes a ride tomorrow, who's a good positive jockey booking. I think he's a very good young up and coming rider. Now this horse has some very good smart connections. It's rated to um, a Cheltenham novice supreme hurdle winner. So he's got some very good connections over flat and jumps. I thought it was definitely a very interesting one tomorrow. And I thought he could definitely go well on its race course debut tomorrow and that's the unknown selection and I thought the 7-1 he could potentially maybe run into a place so um, that's the selection um, for our third one tomorrow and our last selection runs in the 4-10 at Newcastle and is the long shot tomorrow now it's a horse called Ice Royale and it's trained uh, by Jamie Osborne who I spent uh, quite a bit of time with in November uh, making a documentary about stable staff and I saw how his operation was run down at uh, Lambourne and he's a very good trainer very underrated but he tends to do very well on the weather and he's got a lot of good new owners at his disposal this uh, season with the likes of Melbourne 10 and even though this horse isn't owned by them it's still been a very good uh, servant for Jamie Osborne Ice Royal he's been running pretty well of late had a win a few starts ago and it's been fairly consistent off a mark of 87 even though it is going to be carrying top weight in this race tomorrow, I thought really if it runs like it's been running it should go very close and could definitely run into a place or could even definitely win the race. Dougie Costello takes a ride who's been riding very frequently recently for uh, Jamie Osborne and I thought tomorrow this horse had a very good chance and Jamie Osborne tends to do these in this kind of race where it, in a handicap he tends to run the horses that he has they run normally under top weight and I thought really this horse could put in a very good bid tomorrow and could definitely go close. So they're the selections tomorrow. If you agree or disagree with me, leave your comments in the comments box below. Also as well, check us out on social media channels at Facebook and Twitter, Lucky Loaders 15 Haven't really been very active on Facebook at all, but it's something we're planning to do this year. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already here at Lucky Loaders 15 Thanks for all your support so far and hopefully we can have a good 2018 ahead and have some winners so gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon